Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT, which is an AI model that allows you to create your own games. Actually, it's going to write the script for you. You simply have to ask it and it can understand your language. In this video, we're going to use it to create the Asteroids game. We'll be able to move it using the AWST keys or the arrow keys and rotate it with the mouse. And finally, we'll ask it to write the shooting script. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So in order to use ChatGPT, you have to go to this link. I'm going to add it under the video description. Then you can make a free account using an email and password. I've already done that. And you will be able to ask it whatever you want. So ChatGPT is an AI model that can understand your language. In today's episode, we're going to ask it to make an Asteroids game. I've already created a 2D project, for now it is empty, and let's try to ask it to make the script for the player movement. I'm gonna write, hey chat GPT, I want to make a classic, Asteroids game, using Unity, so give me the script for the player movement, and let's add a question mark, and hit enter, and now it is generating the code, we have this C-sharp script, which is called player movement, but it is very basic. It is using the old input system. We have input.get axis horizontal and vertical. Then it is setting the direction of the ship. And we have some notes that explains the code. Let's ask it to improve the script a bit. I want to control the spaceship by moving my mouse so that we can control its orientation. For example, let's write, I want to be able to rotate the spaceship using the mouse. So can you uh, update the previous script and hit enter again? And there you go, now we have more options, like the rotation speed, as well as the movement speed, which is on top. Let's give it a try by hitting copy on top, and go back to this project. First we need to create the spaceship using right click, to the object, and I want to use a sprite like a triangle, and call it spaceship. And let's try to reduce the X scale to 0.8. I think that's fine. Then we can go under the assets and right click create C sharp script. So you need to understand the basics of Unity. You can't use this tool directly. For example, the name of the script needs to be player movement. Make sure to do that. Then let's use Ctrl A and Ctrl V to paste the code and save it. Finally, we have to attach it to this object by dragging the script to the spaceship. You could also adjust the speed as well as the rotation speed. And now we have a basic spaceship that we can uh, rotate using the mouse and move it with the AWST keys or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Maybe that's not what we want. We need to rotate the spaceship so that it's facing the mouse cursor. Now it is using the horizontal movement of the mouse and the vertical movement. Let's try to do that using ChatGPT. So the spaceship is not facing the mouse cursor. So can you update it again? And let's give it another try by copying the code and paste it under Visual Studio. And yep, now it is working. I think it's a little bit slow. Let's increase the rotation speed to 250 and now it's much better. For now we can shoot using the left mouse button click. For that let's go back to ChatGPT. It's gonna make it easier for us. You simply have to ask it the right questions. It is generating another code for the player shooting and it is perfect because it is using some best practices like declaring the variables as private and adding the serialize field so that we can adjust it from the inspector. Let's copy it again and go back into Unity. Then let's right click, create, C sharp script. Make sure to write it with the same name, player shooting, or you will get an error. And let's paste it. You could also read the comments. So on top we have the prefab of the projectile that we're going to use. We need to create it. Next we have the fire rate and the projectile speed. We have this function that is responsible for shooting. And it is called right here when we press the left mouse button. Also we're going to need to add a rigid body component. It is using this component to move the projectile. And let's get back into Unity to create the prefab using right click to the object. And let's use a circle and call it bullet or projectile. Then let's change its size to 
and let's move it a bit so that we can see it let's try with point 2 then we have to add the rigid body component using add component rigid body to D because we are making a 2D game and finally we have to create a prefab out of it by dragging it to the assets folder and let's get rid of it from here then we can reference it after attaching the player shooting script by dragging the prefab under the projectile prefab component and there you go now we can shoot using the left mouse button I think I'm gonna change some settings because I don't want to apply gravity to the bullet change the body type from dynamic to kinematic and hit play again so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it let me know what you think of this tool is it great for game development write that under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.